Hi everyone, it's Denise Reed and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Bramble Reed. This week we're going to be creating the paper mache pots for plants, succulent pot design. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload a post every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. So hi everyone, this week we are going to be doing the paper mache pots for plants succulent design. I am going to use the ball as my mold. Now when I did some research it said that a succulent bowl should be about four inches. When I measured four inches it's basically from here to here but I wanted my bowl with a little bit more depth. So what I did was I started my measurement from here to here. Now I did leave about an inch, five inch gap and later on you'll see it, it ended up actually being six inches. Now one of the biggest mistakes I made was I forgot to put the saran wrap on my ball so make sure you do that. You'll hear me say that later on in the video. I would actually make um, a line going around where your four inches is just to prevent it from getting bigger. Now I'm going to kind of refer back to the old clip and show you what I did but I flattened my paper mache to the thickness that I wanted and I placed it on the ball and then what I did was use the lines to measure it up. Remember that the side that you roll is going to be flatter than the side that you that you pin. So what you want to do is make sure, so I'm just going to add some brown in there so it's not so stocky stocky. Roll it in. And then what you want to do also is make sure that you turn this over so that the right side is the side that is smooth and then this side here is the side that has the holes in it. Okay, so just remember to flip that over. Okay guys, so I have finished. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty, so I was gonna come back earlier, but I just tried to fix it. One of the things you wanna do when you're creating your dish, use plastic and come back and smooth out all your parts. The other thing that's nice about plastic is you can literally like just slightly push everything down. Comment down below if you've ever made a paper mache pot for your plants. I did spray paint bleach on here and that's what gave me this color here. Um, I actually really wanted it to be um, a lighter white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until it's partially dry. I'm going to put bleach on it again to see if it will change the colors. And yeah, I can add white to the brown, but I didn't want to. Um, I just wanted to try a thing and then I'm leaving this bottom portion here. I think it's about three eighths of an inch. It's not, no. Nope. So it's about four eighths of an inch wide. I did want it a little bit wider. I wanted to have like a really nice thick base, but what we'll do is we'll build on it. So right now we're gonna leave this portion the way it is, let it dry. Once it dries, then if I want to have a bigger rim, I will add that bigger, the thicker rim and smooth it down. So first what I did was I measured, I flattened my, my paper mache. I put my paper mache on here and then I built up this portion just kept adding it and smoothed it in. So that looks good all the way around. It's almost the same size. There's some parts here which I like this ball because I can just push it up. Can't put it in the sun, can't put it in the oven. So we're gonna have to put a fan to it and let it dry. So we'll take at least two a week to two weeks depending. So the next part of my paper mache pots for plants succulent design is to do the middle portion of it and so I'm just going to use this. Now do remember that you do have to put the 
plastic over it so that it doesn't stick and it's able to come out. You literally can do the two parts. You can make this portion here and then flip it over and make this portion inside here and then put them together. But I'm just gonna do this portion and then I'll recreate what I need to recreate on this side. So I have my cling wrap in. So I'm finished, I made the hole. I'm gonna leave this portion in and when it's semi dry, I'm going to cut what needs to be taken apart. Make sure because of the folds that it is thick enough. If it's not thick enough, you can add paper mache later. This is the next day and I don't remember if I told you that I had finished this portion here. I left a hole in the middle. And then the other thing too is that my measurements, remember it was supposed to be four inches? I don't know why and now I remember I capped it off at six inches. So it's six inches down. Um, remember we were gonna do, it was supposed to be around four and I said I'd do it five. So I went and I measured it an inch longer. Now the other thing too is that I have this portion which is the middle. It is still fairly damp. But what I wanna do is I wanna try and get my cut so that I know exactly how much to cut it. Um, while I'm able to still do so. I also tried to make this really thin so that when I attach it in the inside that it's not going to be too much of a despair from when I'm doing it you see because it's pliable right now you could have been able to like just pull it down a little bit so it wrapped the inside of the bowl. So this is done. Um, I'm not in love with the color. Um, I do like the way the browns came out two different tones, but it's not what I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna change the color. I think I might do black, but I'm not sure. So what I want us to do is, I want us to put the insert inside, okay? And how I'm gonna do it is, I'm just gonna add some water around here. And the reason why I'm adding the water is so that it's a little bit more pliable. See the water softens that up and it will be easier for me to mold it, to shape it, to thin it out, okay? So that's done. Now I'm gonna take some water, not a lot, just a little bit to put it around there. I'm going to take my clay and I'm using black because I just did the basket. This is just gonna act as glue and we're gonna press it down and we're gonna just roll it a little bit. Push the edges so that everything squeezes out because you want it as thin as possible, right? And I'm just gonna look at this portion here because I wanna make sure that it's directly in the middle. There we go. This part doesn't matter really what it looks like right now because we're gonna go back in and we're gonna fix it. You literally can flat roll a piece and cut out this whole portion and put it all the way around. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover this portion. Make sure that you check the black portion here that it's centered in the middle. I like to leave the plastic on because the plastic is really helpful when it comes to smoothing out your, your clay. You're able to do it with your hand. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna thicken down the bottom portion. If you have something small, I would try and flatten this as much as you can. Once you're done this part, you can leave this color if you want, just to let you know. I might leave mine that color. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. If I like it all one color, I'm gonna smooth it up. And I am going to definitely keep the inside black. Okay, so look at this, this looks really pretty. Or at least I like it. My daughter said she isn't too enthused and then she said she likes it. She is only seven and just turned seven. So, you know, at that age, they're still telling the truth. So she probably didn't like it. But I am going to leave this part kind of like that. Bring it up. And then what I think I'm going to show you guys how to do is this part here just to make it look nicer. 
because we'll just mold in the black and I am going to keep it partially brown but I'm going to try and see if I can camouflage it in. Now what I did was while this is still wet in the middle portion I went and I put something on it heavy to push down and to flatten my bottom part. It is um, hot so it is causing um, a little bit of, uh, what's that word? Con congestion, congestion, con mildew, moisture. So it is causing a little bit of sweat and moisture in here but I'm just gonna leave it to let it dry for a bit. And I wanted to show you while I have the black out what I'm going to do with this rim. So what I have is my orange color from my pumpkin and this brown that was mixed with gray. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of black in there. I'm just gonna add a little teensy weensy bit of black just to kind of blend it in. But what I wanna show you is how I'm going to flatten this out. <laughs> So you see right now, this goes down on a slope. I want it to go straight out. I've created my succulent bowl out of paper mache so that I'm able to use the artificial plants and some paper mache plants that I will be making in the coming week. So I have finished the bowl. It looks really cool. My husband didn't like the way I, I had included that edge portion. So what I did was just kind of blended the black in with it. And this is the way I ended up doing it at the bottom, which I think it looks really cool. So I left some of the browns, I incorporated the black and some grays. And here's the inside. In a coming video, I will show you how I'm going to do my, my succulent. Now that you know how to make the paper mache pots for plants, succulent pot design, I have written a guide on different designing platforms that will help you take your creative ideas out of your head and put them on a digital platform. I have included a list of tutorials that will help you understand these platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, if you want to join a group of creative minds like yourself, I do have that Facebook page where we will be uploading different DIY and fashion contents. You can check out the link in the description box. Check out these videos next on paper mache cup succulent holder and paper mache container transforming a household product. Also, my upcoming video on paper mache cactus succulent bowl idea. Now if you like these videos, hit that like button, be sure to subscribe and share the video with your family and friends.